time. It was a right Six, hand uppercut that put her down. Seven, Layla Ali eight, is putting eight, on a clinic right. here yeah, in Bowie, Maryland. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, she is. One of her final performances. They thought it was a fluke the way she beat down and destroyed a little woman in Christy Martin. But tonight, it's a bigger woman. It's obvious that Layla is in a league all by herself. I don't know what it's going to take to challenge her. But as I was saying earlier, that was a nice overhand left. That was a big left hand that time by Nikki Eplon. But Layla's going to that body of Nikki Eplon. And look at these ladies. I mean, they're fighting. Look at this action. Layla Ali puts it down again. This is the first it, knockdown of this fight. And, and that will over. be it. Layla Let's Ali go. defends her IBA Super Middleweight Championship, knocking out Nikki Eplon. The referee stopped the contest. It was quite evident. It was a good fight. It took four knockdowns, but it was the beatdown. It was a beatdown, most definitely. As I was saying before the fight was halted, I think when Nikki looked back on this fight, she's going to realize that she had a good chance if only she could have kept her back off the rope. And uh, they're going to have to go to school on that. Maybe she can improve on that, maybe come back for a rematch. I don't know. I tell you what, she had two glamour queens in the ring, two very attractive women in the ring, Nikki Eblon, Layla Ali. And let's take a look at the first knockdown here in round number four. And as you can see, it's that right hand, and then that left hook to the body, and see that vicious right, right uppercut. uppercut. It was awesome. I saw it there, picture it perfect. was a picture-perfect punch. The thing about it, she's been working on so much in the gym. But what I enjoyed about what Buddy McGurk has added to the arsenal, and here's the final knockout. You can see it. A barrage of punches. Nikki Epelon, as game, as great as she tried the challenge, she couldn't stand up to what was going to happen in the ring. And I'm talking Layla Ali doing her thing. We're going to talk to Layla Ali shortly after the decision is announced. She's happy. She's got another fight scheduled. Louisville, Kentucky on the undercard of the Mike Tyson fight on July 30th. The opponent has not been named, but I tell you what, she can still fight. Yeah, you know she, why? She didn't get bruised tonight. She didn't get I mean, bruised she's tonight. not sore. She shouldn't be sore you know? unless her fists are hurting. But uh, she looks great. I think she's at the top of her game, and it's, great. it's good that they're keeping her active right now. Definitely is good. You know what, folks? If you've been seeing the action and enjoying it all, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm talking Nikki and, of course, Layla put on a great show. you got to give your credit to Nikki Eplon. I mean, she went down. She just kept getting back up, but four knockdowns, just too much. And the referee, as well as the crowd here, had mercy on her and said, hey, stop it before it even gets worse. Oh, definitely. You know, I, I don't think that she could do any more after uh, those four knockdowns. And uh, I think she underestimated Layla's uh, power. Well, Layla definitely has the power of a champion. We're going to get ready to go to our ring announcer, the very ever popular Henry Discombobulating Jones. Let's again show the knockdown. And I'm talking what Layla Ali did in the ring against Nikki Epelon. You watch it. And after we finish, we'll go to Discombobulating Jones. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Henry Discombobulating Jones, who has all the particulars of all of tonight's action. Super middleweight champion of the world, Layla. She means Stingy Ali. Let's hear it for a very game Nikki Eplon as well. In the corner of the winner tonight, world-renowned trainer, Mr. Buddy McGirt. <laughs> I've got the pretty lady, the first lady of boxing. Talk about this fight. It was a very tough fight because, let's face it, this was a young lady who wasn't afraid of you mentally, but once she got in the ring, she found out being in there with the beatdown, it wasn't let down. It don't matter if you're afraid or not. That's all just part of it. You know, once, you, once that bell rings, all the nerves go out the window, so... You know what I'm saying? The bottom line is I come to win, as usual, and that's what I did. The one thing that you did in this fight was the beautiful body work. The left hook to the body, up to the head, follow with the right hand. Talk the about... the body snatcher, baby. You're the body that's snatcher. my unofficial name. You know, somebody else already has it, so I couldn't take that that's one. That's Mike McCallum. I'm the body snatcher. That's yeah. Talk about your performance tonight and how would you grade it, Layla? I mean, when you talk about what you did in the ring and oh, how you looked. I don't think my performance was that great. I had to watch it, but I know that in the beginning I was just looking for one punch. I wanted to get this fight over with, and it took me a while to get into my rhythm because we were back there for so long. It was raining, 
It was hard for me to get focused, you know what I'm saying? And then I stood in the ring for so long. So it took me a minute to get back, you know, jabbing. I really never really picked up my jab like I should have, but I didn't need it. So I was like, hell, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Let me ask you a question. What is next for you? We've got your husband here, my main man, of course, Yaya McLean. What an excellent team and a one-two punch. What's next for her? I know you've got the date, Jan I mean, July 30th in Louisville, Kentucky. Who's going to be against Layla Lee? Well, we had a couple opponents fall out. So, you know, um, right now we're in, in negotiations with two or three different women. And uh, hopefully by the end of the week, well, actually by the middle of the week, we should Kayla. be closed on that. There was a lot of lip service in this fight. Layla and Yaya, but yet when it came down to the real deal, you were the latest of the greatest. As usual. As usual. They ain't nothing new. You know that. I know that, I'm but I'm... got to act like you don't know because we're on TV. <laughs> but you already knew. I already knew. What do you think about fighting on the undercard of Mike Tyson? That's only two weeks away. You got some work in today. Good work. You don't appear to be hurt at all. You look as pretty as you always did. What's next? Well, um, you know, that fight will give me a lot of exposure. So, But, I mean, really, I just see it as another fight. You know, I got to do my thing. He has to do his. So I'm not really worried about Mike. But it's a lot of exposure for women's boxing, a lot of exposure for me. So I, I hope I get a good opponent so I can have a spectacular performance there. Once again, congratulations. Now 17 and 0. Go right here, Yaya. Wait, wait, wait. I do want to say that Nikki Epelon did put up a good fight. You know, I can always tell in somebody's eyes she was here to win. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, that's hard to do when you're in there with me, regardless of how much you want to. But it said a lot to me. And, you know, um, what can I say? I had to put the beat down, though. All right. There was no letdown, but just the beat down. Go ahead, Yaya. Well, you know, um, as you know, Layla will be fighting on the Mike Tyson undercard. And Layla defended her super middleweight title tonight. But on the 30th, she'll be moving up in the weight class and fighting for the light heavyweight title. So, we, we, you know, we're really looking forward to that. Well, congratulations, Layla. Now 17-0, and 0, 14 knockouts. Layla, she be stinging Ali. And guess what? They can put up a shut-up, get down and throw down. I it was a beatdown. I got to give a shout-out. First of all, I'd like to thank God I should have done that first. And also, T.T. Joyce, I know you watching, okay? <laughs> and I know you enjoyed that, all right? So there's your shout-out. You know, and I just want to say anybody else who wants to fight me thinks I'm scared which they know that's not true, so they want to keep using that excuse. That's all right. But if you really want to fight me, all you got to do is call me. I'm the easiest woman in boxing to get in touch with, okay? Call me, and we can make the fight happen. You know where to find me. All right. The Louisville Lips going to Louisville, home of her dad, Layla Ali, now 17-0 with 14 knockouts. I'm being joined right now by, of course, the promoter of Raging Promotions. I'm talking about Mr. Marty Wynn. Marty, when you talk about this venture of putting this fight on TV, and we want to get you on camera here, how excited are you about this house and this fight and the turnout? Oh, man, the turnout is tremendous. DC came out, then we come out, baby. We came out, man. I mean, we always been Layla Ali's fans, you know what I mean? We came out to see Layla do her thing. She did her thing. And uh, Nikki put up a good fight, but, hey, she wasn't good enough tonight. All right. Once again, we're going to get ready for our next fight. Hopefully, we'll be bringing out Mark Two Shop Johnson coming up a little later. Let's take a look at her right now. And I'm talking Layla Ali. She's in the middle of the ring as she does her thing, getting ready for, of course, her next fight, which will, of course, happen on July 30th. And it should be in Louisville, Kentucky. Opponent has yet to be named, but be on notice. Layla Ali is ready to do whatever she has to do to get it ready. I tell you what, Isra Gerga, we have seen some exciting fighting. It only took four rounds. It took four knockdowns. But Layla Ali got it done once again. She is now 17-0. How impressed were you of her performances? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, um, I was I was really impressed by the, her work. You know, she was uh, hitting the body shots really good. The uppercuts were really working because it was a taller taller girl. And her just getting in close and neutralizing the southpaw stance is definitely key to, you know, winning this fight because Nikki was definitely not using her jab and keeping her on the outside as a taller as a taller fighter. All right, she couldn't do it because she just didn't have that skill level and it just wasn't there. But Layla Lee has moved on and you're watching on Raging TV. We're glad you could join us. It became our first fight of the night because we didn't want to disappoint you because of the rain here in the Maryland area. All of a sudden we got a storm, but the man upstairs decided to go ahead and, and ease off those tensions and those things that were happening as far as rain is concerned. And we got an opportunity. Coming up next, we're going to have Mark Two Sharp Johnson. He's going to be fighting Carlino Villalipos. That's right. And there, of course, Layla Lee is making her way out of the ring. And, man, she put some punches on Nikki Eplon. Nikki Eplon could not handle the punches of Layla Ali. Not at all. Man, what a fight. 
There she is making her way. And I'm talking. 